What is up, Impact Wrestling fans? This is BQ, and it is the Impact Lounge. Hit that subscribe button if you're a first-time visitor, or take a look around the channel, see if you like what you see, and then subscribe. It's all good, however you want to do it. Still, I appreciate you swinging by the channel. Now, something has come out regarding the tapings. This is, as far as I'm concerned, unofficial. I've taken several days off from the internet and Twitter and Facebook for the most part because of the holiday. So you guys can let me know if I'm incorrect on this. From uh, what I'm understanding, it's all unofficial right now, but Impact is reportedly returning back to the Impact Zone in Orlando, Florida in January for the next set of tapings. All right, so let's talk about this here real quick because I read a few things about this online. Haven't seen anything official, like I said. The dirt sheets, we love the dirt sheets. There's, oh, I guess, you know, Canada didn't work out. You know, they, no one was showing up to the shows and maybe it wasn't always cracked up to be. Look, folks, they never said they were moving to Canada full time. Even when I made my video a couple weeks ago talking about this, there was the, the video that surfaced online of Jeremy Borash saying, oh, you know, we're going to be back here in uh, Canada. And it was being reported based off that video that, that the company was, it was now going to be a full-time Canadian product. And he never said that. No one ever said it. As a matter of fact, when they said they were going to Ottawa, they still put it out that they were still going to be going to Orlando. And it, it, it's just crazy that people are, you know, finding a way to turn this into such a, such a negative. I don't think anyone was expecting that every single set of tapings to be in Canada this year. I think they had put it out there. They wanted to try New York and Chicago and um, Toronto. You know, they said they were going to be back in Orlando. So they're back in Orlando. It doesn't mean that it was because Canada didn't work out for them. Now, granted, watching on TV, smaller crowds, more engaged crowds, maybe a little bit smaller, but here's the deal. And, you, and I've said this before, you've got to put yourselves in the mind of these people and think how you would handle this if you were, if, if Impact was in your area. Seven days, not seven days a week, four or five days a week. Sometimes they've done more. Sometimes it's six or seven. But usually, you know, four or five days a week. Taping start, you know, um, 6.30, 7.30, something like that, and go four hours. Who can sustain, I mean, let alone the talent, who as a fan can sustain that kind of fandom throughout the week if you've got a life, you've got a job, you've got a family, to sit there and, and dedicate four hours of your life for four or five straight days is crazy. So you can't expect... And I, and I know there's a lot of really loyal people in the impact zone that do this, but I'm just saying for the most part, you cannot expect people to just show up in bunches every single night. You're not going to get that bound for glory crowd every night because bound for glory is special and people respond to things that are special. And until impacts flagship show becomes special, it's not must see for a lot of people. If it was must see and you never knew what you were going to get, then, you know, yeah, maybe people would show up. But that's just one of the problems they're going to have with the pre-taping. Now, we talked about this before. ROH does it. NXT does it. Lucha Underground does it. Lucha Underground does it really different. But, yeah, you know, NXT, they do about as many tapings as, as Impact does. And, um, you know, about four days at a time or so. I don't know how Ring of Honor does it. They keep so much under wraps with them. But, I mean, if you watch their television product, you can see it's in the same place, you know, several weeks in a row. But the difference is those are one-hour products. And the Impact product is a two-hour show. So even if they, you know, um, you know, Ring of Honor does four straight days of taping, they can get away with two hours a, you know, two hours a night and cover two months of programming. Impact because they have a two hour show, a little bit different. And, you know, this is something I've talked about a lot. When I went to the Impact Zone, when Drew Galloway won the title, and, uh, you know, they just came back from the UK and from Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, there was a lot of people in the Impact Zone, and it was there was a lot of energy in there, too. 
so you know the the crowd wasn't like that complacent crowd that we see on TV now you know at least not not then because it was it was special it was like okay they've done two sets of tapings away from here now we want to make sure we're there and I think that's a really good way to engage with the Orlando audience so that they don't get complacent and it, you know I think the only negative for me really with with the Canadian tapings was you know paying the paying the extras even if that's good business for TV shows and everything impact cannot afford that look you know you know what I mean they can't afford that and they get they you know they get a lot of shit for that they get a lot of shit for the tourists but you know you you can go to a, a Monday Night Raw taping and a lot of those people are and I shouldn't say taping a, a show a lot of those people are casuals it's it's like when they know that the WWE is in town it's like the circus is in town it's like hey kids let's go watch wrestling like not everyone there is a a diehard now granted they could fill out an arena a lot easier than any other company but the, the you know the fact that there's some tourists in the crowd and in, in Orlando that's every company is going to have some kind of you know some, some kind of casual in the audience but you know these are just they, they want to take shots and impacts for it it's whatever so we'll see what happens we'll see if it really is in Orlando from my experience from them stepping out of the you know impact zone and coming back I think we're going to see a, a better crowd so you know hopefully those people in the front row leaning, leaning on the rails you know hopefully you know or holding you know turning their back towards the television hopefully we don't see that this time hopefully hopefully they treat it as something a little more special because they didn't get bound for glory they didn't get a set of tapings so we I guess we're going to see if if it's official or not but I think what just really bothers me is that they're trying to make it a negative saying oh well, Canada didn't work out like they never said they were going to film in Canada every single time logistically it makes no sense to do that right now so frustrating stuff but we're going to see what happens hopefully we get that red wedding match if it is in Orlando and all that good stuff so just a little bit of a rant for the channel Thanks for swinging by. Hit that subscribe button. Leave any comments you see fit in the comments section below. Give a thumbs up while you're at it too. Thanks guys. Peace.